باب انزلناه اليك مبارك ليدبروا اياته وليتذكر اولو الالباب السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته my brothers and sisters the story of the creation of human beings is repeated in the quran several times in this revelation allah wants us to understand where we came from and to understand why we are here so he mentions adam alayhi salam the prophet adam and he mentions eve or hawa may peace be upon them and allah almighty tells us in many places in the quran about various aspects of creation so at times he says they were created from dust then he says soil then he says clay and so on people say why is there a contradiction there is no contradiction these are the various stages of creation that's all it is so when he says a droplet of semen he's talking about what happened later when he talks about the dust that was initial when he talks about the clay that is mixture of that dust and earth with water when he talks about mud that is also one of the levels so there is no contradiction but what's of interest is When Allah Almighty mentions the story of Adam he clearly says to Adam listen you have an enemy subhanallah that was a distinct statement made by Allah to Adam Allah says oh Adam you have an enemy he doesn't like you he's going to plot your downfall be careful so what should i do if i don't want to someone to succeed in their plot of my downfall what should i do well take heed be watchful follow the rules make sure that you don't falter so allah almighty says to him well there's only one rule basically here what was the rule allah says la taqraba hadhihi ash-shajara don't eat don't even come close to this tree don't eat from this particular fruit now one might ask why did allah decide that he doesn't want adam to eat from this particular tree when you've connected to allah and connected to revelation the true answer is it's the decision of the almighty he decides what he wants to do but if you would like a deeper explanation you see allah tests you by telling you to do things and then he tests you by telling you to abstain from things when you have a mathematics exam your examiner will not only test you with addition they say how do you add these things so you add them all up then he says well how do you subtract these things so you are tested with subtraction and division not just multiplication and addition so in a similar way allah tests you holistically he's going to test you by telling you do this let's see if you do it okay and don't do this let's see if you're not going to do it subhanallah so that's allah he wants to give you the greater qualification so he tests you with do's and don'ts and then he tests you with things to say well these are things it's better for you to do then he tests you with other things these are things it's better for you not to do so that's where the voluntary deeds come in and so on but here allah decided you know what i don't want you to do one thing and part of the plan of allah was he wanted to create a creature who would repent to him it's the issue of repentance it is the issue of turning back to allah that is what allah wanted and that is what allah loves so he created man for man to repent to him that's amazing that's mentioned in some hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how much allah loves it when human kind actually turns back to him and seeks forgiveness allah almighty in one narration literally boasts to his angels about this human being seeking forgiveness to him subhanallah it's just allah he gets so happy and so delighted why would allah get happy he is the lord of the worlds because he loves us that's the reason when you love someone and they've been engaged in something bad whatever it may be bad habits bad deeds and when they turn and come back and you're surprised or even if you're not so surprised but you you will be extremely happy to see your son quit the drugs or quit whatever else it may be 
May Allah grant goodness to all those who are struggling. May Allah take them out of their mess and make their parents and their siblings and loved ones happy with them quitting the bad that they've been involved in. Ameen. But Allah Almighty looks at Adam alayhi salam and tells him not to do this. Like I said, if Allah wanted, he didn't need to have that. But it was his choice. We don't have a, stay, a say regarding what Allah wants or doesn't want. So Allah Almighty found that Adam alayhi salam was being conned by shaitan. Shaitan told him, do you know what? There is a tree and a fruit. You've been prohibited from it, but if you ate from it, you'll enjoy it thoroughly. And you will live forever and you will have a lot of wealth, meaning provision. You will have ownership of things that will never deplete. That's the reason why Allah told you not to eat from that. So it was clear that he was being deceived. He was being deceived. Where shaitan told him a lie and told him, you know what? Uh, the reason why you're not to eat from this tree is because of X, Y, Z. But that's not true. It's just Allah's test. Allah didn't want you to eat from that tree. So shaitan beautified the prohibited. You and I, the same thing happens. Shaitan beautifies the prohibited. What is prohibited? Well, so many things that are prohibited, shaitan tries to beautify them and tell us, it's okay, you know, you'll repent, it's fine, Allah will forgive and so on. Don't sin with the idea that, you know what, it's okay, I will later seek forgiveness. Don't do that. But if you have sinned out of your human weakness, then you seek forgiveness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us strength. So Adam alayhi salam ended up believing for a moment Shaitan. He was conned basically for a moment. They ate from the tree. As soon as they ate, some things started happening and they realized Shaitan lied to us. We're not going to live forever and we're not going to be able to achieve kingdom that will never deplete as they were promised. So Allah makes mention of this in the Quran where Shaitan says to them, فَوَسْوَسَ إِلَيْهِ الشَّيْطَانُ قَالَ يَا آدَمُ هَلْ أَدُلُّكَ عَلَى شَجَرَةِ الْخُلْدِ وَمُلْكٍ لَا يَبْلَى Exactly as I said, verse number 120 of Surah Taha, Shaitan started whispering to them in many different ways and he told them, should I lead you to the tree where, wherein which uh, if you ate from it, you wouldn't ever die and you would have kingdom forever and ever, ownership would never deplete. So what happened? They ate from it, they regretted it, they, it resulted in them realizing shaitan had conned them and then they turned to Allah. Now, before we get to what exactly they said when they turned to Allah, let me pause for a moment and tell you again that Allah created humankind different from the angels. The angels don't have the ability to disobey and different from Shaitan, shaitan will not obey Allah. If he obeys Allah, he would not be called shaitan anyway. So in the middle, there is a creature known as humankind. Humankind will make mistakes, will sin out of human weakness and will repent to Allah. That repentance will be so loved by Allah that the human being can attain a rank higher than the angels. Subhanallah. Yes, there is a discussion as to the exact detail of that, but it's there. This is loved by Allah. Allah loves it so much. So the one thing that Allah told Adam and Eve not to do is the exact thing they ended up doing. That provides for us a lot of comfort from one angle. What is that angle? While we will never condone sin, because by our very nature we are sinful, kullu bani Adam khatta, all the children of Adam make mistakes, commit sins. So it is comforting to note that Allah will forgive, has forgiven, shall forgive, even if we happened to fall for the trap of shaitan by doing the exact thing that Allah told us 
not to do. Don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. So that is the lesson. When we reconnect with revelation, we realize it's the mercy of Allah. Allah has been so merciful. Here is Adam. He says, رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِلَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنْ الْخَاسِرِينَ Oh, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. And if you don't have mercy on us, and if you don't forgive us, we are going to be the losers. Allah forgave them. May Allah forgive all of us. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر